Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I will talk about a very interesting uh, publication commissioned by the Japan Foundation uh, to accompany a project that was supposed to take place uh, in the Japanese pavilion at the 2020 Architecture Venice Biennale. The biennial did not take place yet uh, due to the global pandemic and all exhibitions were pushed uh, to 2021. But this catalog was released according to the original schedule. The title reads Co-ownership of Action Trajectories of Elements. The nature of the project curated by Kozo Kadawaki makes uh, reading the book before the exhibition is up uh, even more interesting and appropriate. The plan to dismantle a typical Japanese wooden house, bring the parts to Venice and exhibit them at the Biennale emerged from the collaboration among uh, multi-talented uh, members of the curatorial team. Kozo Kadovaki, Geo Nagasaka, Ryoko Iwase, Toshikatsu Kiyuchi, Taichi Sunayama, Daitsuke Motogi, Nakitake Fukumoto, Kayoko Ota, Rikako Nagashima, and I apologize for mispronouncing their names, are just some of the people that participated in the project. The first thing that the Nagasaka said to Kadovaki was that it would be a shame if visitors to the exhibition were left unaware of the costs incurred in the transport of objects, uh, whatever they might be, all the way from Japan to Venice. It further occurred to them that transport and movement in general have become an increasingly frenetic aspect of contemporary society. This was the line of thinking that yielded one of the core concepts of the project, making movement itself visible. A breakthrough came with a challenge by Nagasima. Buildings generate huge amounts of waste. As architects, what do you propose to do about that? That was when a wooden Japanese house emerged as their object of movement. Receiving the full brunt of bombing attacks during World War II, Japanese cities sustained devastating damage that produced a housing crisis after the war ended. The first responders to this surge in housing demand were artisans, particularly carpenters, with roots in traditional building crafts. Consequently, most houses built after the war were made of wood. After the oil shock of 1973, however, Japan's uh, birth rate went into decline and in the first decade of the 21st century, the population itself began to fall. Now there was a surplus of housing and by 2018, there were nearly 8.5 million vacant units nationwide. Today, the country is awash in houses that have outlived their usefulness and simply sit there awaiting uh, dismantling. Why don't we acquire one of those houses, we thought, and move it to Venice? From an architectural standpoint, the wooden Japanese house is an extremely unique phenomenon characterized by a high degree of flexibility. Additions and renovations are a normal occurrence for traditional wooden houses, which can be modified at will according to circumstances. Hence, such structures were eminently suited to the changes in the building production system that occurred after the war. From the mid-1950s on, Japanese architecture became increasingly industrialized, with uh, cement replacing fired clay for roof tiles, aluminum sashes replacing wooden window frames, and plastic drain pipes replacing tin ones. From the 1960s on, by which time building construction had become fully industrialized, wooden housing acquired the look of a bricolage of handicrafts and heavy industries. Post-war wooden houses acquired their distinctive characteristics precisely because they underwent dramatic changes of this sort. In that case, we felt transporting one such house to Venice and reconstructing it in a variety of ways for exhibit should provide insights into that reality. Our encounter with the Takami Zawa house uh, came about uh, quite unexpectedly. I happened to be chatting with the owner of the house across the street from mine and told him about our troubles finding the right candidate for our project. My neighbor thought hard for a moment, then said, I'm planning to demolish my house and build a new one. You can have the materials from the old house. Feel free to help yourself. Takamizawa House was a wooden house built in 1954 that underwent several expansions and renovations between then and the 1980s. 
It was exactly what we were looking for. I had actually gazed out on Takamizawa house from my desk while drawing up the proposal for the competition. I had always liked the house, and of all the buildings in the neighborhood, it had offered the greatest inspiration when I designed my own home. The highly skilled building firm uh, Tank accepted the task of dismantling Takanizawa house and reassembling it in Venice. First, however, we had to conduct an exhaustive survey of the house pre-dismantled state, or it would be impossible to reassemble later. This was a precious opportunity to study a post-war wooden house in detail, so we wanted to approach the tasks scientifically. Takamizawa house was digitized via a whole range of methods, from 3D scanning of the entire house and subsequently of its individual elements, to computer modeling based on drawings and measurements. If we intended to reuse the elements of Takamizawa house, we would have to remove them by hand, one at a time. The house could not simply be demolished uh, with heavy equipment. The process did not, however, go smoothly. Hampered by constraints of time, budget, personnel, computer data capacity and warehouse space, we were ultimately able to scan only one-tenth of the total of some 4,000 elements. Nonetheless, we managed to compile a list of elements large and small, complete customs uh, clearance procedures and load the elements into two 30-foot containers. They departed from Japan in January 2020. The plan was to use Takamizawa House to create an exhibition at the Japan Pavilion on the history of the period the house lived through. Built at the very outset of a long-term economic boom and subject to repeated additions and renovations over the next three decades, Takamizawa House physically embodies the dramatic changes Japanese society underwent during the post-war years. The elements used in the house vary just as dramatically according to the era when they were installed. We developed plans to utilize Takamezawa house to exhibit its own history. We will reconstruct some sections of the house, but we will use other parts to build uh, screens, benches, even display panels. In other words, the house itself will become part of the installation. With the reassembly in Venice of a portion of the scattered pieces of Takamizawa house, each of those elements will gain new life. However, the house has lost many more elements in the process of being dismantled and moved, nor we were able to save data about every part. To restore the house, we must therefore compensate for the missing elements with new materials. The end product will be a composite of all the new materials, a chimera-like hybrid of the creative efforts of architects, artisans and other participants. I imagine these two containers are sitting somewhere in Venice uh, in a warehouse waiting for a green light and I'm really looking forward to seeing this exhibition. Also at this point uh, I really hope uh, the curatorial team will produce uh, an after-the-fact publication to have a record of this second part of the project. Check out the book at your local bookstore. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.